we're going to be doing the boxy charm unboxing if you don't know what boxy charm is it's a 21 a month subscription well technically 22 dollars and like 41 cents a month but you get five to six full-size products or no four to five full-size products for 21 dollars a month and i've never gotten just four i've always gotten five sometimes six but always five and it's all high-end brands, new brands I've never heard of, and it is awesome. If you're someone who doesn't have a lot to spend on makeup and you love it, this is a great way to build your collection. It's helped me a lot. I love BoxyCharm so much. It's literally one of my favorite subscriptions, if not my favorite completely. So this is what the box looks like. A black box with boxy charm. Very cute, very simple. So you open it up and you have your little card on top that tells you what's in the box and their full size prices. Sometimes you might get like a big deluxe size sample, but usually it's always full size. This month's theme is La Vie en Rose. I don't know what that means but and I have already looked in here and used one of the products just so I know what I needed that's why my base is done my eyes are done and everything I just don't have on blush bronzer highlight and lips yeah that's it so the first thing in the box is the first thing that I used which was this wonder beauty Lift off purifying and brightening peel off mask. This packaging is so cute. It's this really pretty like rose gold color. It's really pretty. It looks really pretty on your face. And usually masks are purifying or brightening. This one is both. And I have to tell you. My skin feels so good after I use this. It's taking everything in me not to use it every single day. I love this so much. So the next thing in the box are these. I'm so excited. These are the Moda Powder and Soft Glow Brush Set. Very cute. Sticking with the rose gold theme. This is the powder brush super soft very soft and this it says it's for glow but I think I'm going to use it for blush I don't really think I'm going to use something this big for highlight it's so soft though oh so soft okay and then you lift up the little padding and the next thing is a peel liquid eyeshadow in the shade gold and I'm not going to be opening this or using it because my eyes are done number one number two this is not something that I would use on a regular basis so I would rather it go to someone that would use it more than I would and it wouldn't go out of date so this is going to be going into a giveaway for someone the next thing is this Ofra long lasting liquid lipstick in monaco this pretty metallic oh god it's metallic okay it's a very pretty color it's just maybe something i would use like in the middle of my lips but not anything i would use on its own but today we're going to and the very last thing in the box which I am very excited about. This Cover FX Perfector Face Palette. I got it in light to medium. I know there's been a bunch of stuff going on with BoxyCharm and like the shipping and people getting the wrong colors, which really sucks. BoxyCharm, this is like the only issue I've ever had with y'all. So hopefully it doesn't happen again and I hope the people that didn't get the right stuff get it fixed hopefully but this is what she looks like it is so pretty 
you get two highlighters, a lighter one and like a deeper one, a contour, which is matte, and a matte blush, a brightener, and a finishing powder. I'll go ahead and swatch all of them for you. Oh, those highlighters are so nice. They're swatching really good. There's all of them, starting with the highlighters, contour, blush, brightener, and finishing powder can't really see the finishing powder but I love like the finishing powder has like some sparkly sheen not glitter but like sparkly sheen to it and I love finishing powder usually I use the essence pure nude highlighter the like pretty bronzy one because it's so light I take a big fluffy brush and put it all over once I'm done and it just gives your face this beautiful glow I stole that from Tati. <laughs> okay, so we are going to start out with the palette. I'm going to zoom you in. Okay, ignore my hair. And I think I'm going to use my brush for the bronzer, the contour, which is my ColourPop Dual Fiber Brush, the F14. Oh, it has a nice big mirror in it, which is great because I literally always forget to bring a good size mirror with me when I film down here. Okay. Ooh. I'll have what's on my face now listed down in the description if you're interested. They're all my favorite products. My eyes are the new ColourPop, oops, excuse me, ColourPop Sweet Talk collection. I fucking love that collection so much I did a video on it I don't know how to link it but I'm sure you can find it if you want to watch it Pretty. Gotta get the ears. And I'll take a bigger. That is really pretty. I'm going to also use it to contour my nose and my lip. There's a lot of pigment on here too, so you don't need a lot. I might have just used a little too much. But that's okay. Highlight down the middle. We'll fix that. <laughs> and if I had my powder with me, I would fix it, but I'll fix it afterwards. It's okay. I'm not the only one on the internet that has a harsh nose contour, so I'll live. Next, I'm going to take 
this big fluffy brush that came in the BoxyCharm in the Moda set. And I'm going to go into the finishing powder. I'm going to do the finishing powder before blush and highlight. Okay, I don't know if that sparkle is from the finishing powder or my eyes. I think it's from my eyes. So if those chunks of glitter, which, yeah, that's from my eyes. This finishing powder is beautiful, especially if you have dry skin like I do. You will love something like that. And I love this bronzer so much in this palette. This contour is perfect. I'm going to take... One highlighter looks like a champagne-y, goldy, and one looks like a bronzy, pinky. Like, there's the deeper one, and there's the lighter one. Oh, they do have names. Okay. So, the contour is called Silhouette. The finishing powder is called Stellar. The brightener is called Moonbeam. The darker highlight is starlight and the lighter one is divine so i'm gonna take the blush first which is called sublime i'm going to use the soft glow brush from the moda set Ooh, a lot comes up on the brush oh do you see that okay Oh, that is so pretty. Might have went a little too heavy. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. It's just a beautiful pinky like flushed. And I love this brush for blush. And I always take a little bit of blush and put it right under my nose. That is so cute. Like, very cute. Okay, so next I'm going to take my highlight brush, which is the JH09 highlight brush. And I'm going to go into the lighter one, which is Divine. What is a brightener for? Because that looks like a highlight. That's not for under my eyes, is it? Maybe I'll put it on top of this highlight if it's too dark, because these highlights do look pretty dark. I have brush hairs all over my face. My brush is shedding. Okay. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty. It's not my favorite, but it's pretty. I mean, I don't hate it, but I also... don't love it. <laughs> it's pretty. I'm going to try the brightener on my lip and see what that looks like. 
Woo! Too much. Oh my goodness, that's a highlight in itself. There we go. Okay, so maybe these highlights are meant to be like a little bit subtle. And then you put the brightener on over it. Because that just made me look like the Tin Man. We are ready to highlight up the whole damn world. That was a lot. Okay, so this palette, I love it. It's awesome. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite palettes right now for bronzer, highlight, and blush is the new Benefit Cheek Leader palette. It's the bronze leader one. It has the Hula Bronzer, the Cookie Highlight, and the Gold Rush Blush. I don't want Benefit to ever get rid of that because it is fucking beautiful. I love it so much. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to set... I go pretty heavy with the setting spray if you couldn't tell. But... I love it. This is the Morphe Continuous. This heavy mist. Because the last one, I mean, I tried, is the Ultra Long Lasting. Liquid Lipstick in Monaco. Ooh. I look shiny, and I'm not mad about it. I love it. Okay, so Monaco, a metallic lipstick. I don't think I'm going to line my lips because... I have some errands to run after this. I'm not going to keep this on. Not all on. I mean, it's pretty. I'm going to zoom you in. It's not as metallic -y as I thought. And the Ofra liquid lipstick formula is bomb as fuck. It just goes on so easy. I mean, it's not horrible. I expected it to look way shinier and crazy than it does, but low-key I'm feeling it. Like, I kind of like it. So this is the finished look using everything that came in the BoxyCharm, excluding some of the stuff that I used before because it didn't come in the box. But brushes, A+. Plus. Mask from Wonder Beauty, A+. Plus. Lipstick, actually love face palette awesome liquid eyeshadow giving away for a giveaway so let's see let's start with the cover fx perfector face palette it is 45 dollars that's double what you pay for the box the wonder beauty lift off purifying and brightening peel off mask 34 dollars more than your box the Moda Brushes Powder and Soft Glow Kit, $29.99, more than your box. Ofra, excuse me, Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick, $20. Appeal Cosmetics Liquid Eyeshadow, $21. So that's everything that came on the card, and that's the prices. If I had my phone, I would, let me see if I can... If my math is correct, that's $151 worth of stuff for $21 a month.
That's awesome. This palette, I can't wait to play with some more. It's just, it's amazing. I kind of want to try this Starlight Highlighter, but it just looks so dark. I don't, I could probably use it as eyeshadow. Oh no, I don't have anything in my inner corners. I'm going to use the brightener. I can't believe I forgot my inner corners. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm going to put a little bit of that on the brow bone too. That is so pretty in the inner corners. You see that? Very pretty. This eyeshadow look I did using the ColourPop Sweet Talk palette. I took reference to the look Raw Beauty Christie just did on the collection in her full face of first impressions. So I tried to do what she did and I kind of love it. But that is everything that came in my box this month. So let me know, did you get the same thing or did you get the wrong thing? Or do you like what you got? Do you like what I got? Let me know down in the comments. And if you would not mind, please subscribe and leave a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.